Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at a very special battle tome. This is the Soul Blight battle tome for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. It's right here in this cardboard package. It will set you back £50. I'm hoping it's worth it. Um, you can only get these special edition books from Games Workshop directly. If you would like to support this channel, as always, consider subscribing, consider joining as a member for perks and benefits, and by using the Element Games affiliate link to save yourself up to 25% off of your Warhammer goodness. If you like this video and you enjoy all of the content, your support is very much welcome. Let's take this out. Lovely, look at that guys. Warhammer Age of Sigma, Soul Blight Grave Lords. I think it needs a special knife for this one. We'll just tear into it. Oh, look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Soft touch, full cover art, it's hefty, it's not thin, it's not too thick, a little bit of art there, you've got the gold page trim, I think they're doing this for all of the Age of Sigmar uh, books right now, but wow, you've got the undead, you've got the skeletons, you've got zombie dragons, you've got vampires, you've got direwolves. What more can you ask for on that cover art? It's, a, it's beautiful. Oh, you've got bats as well, yeah. Um, let's have a look at this page by page. It's number 576 out of 700. I'm not sure whether they are numbered in terms of the number you, you pre-order them in, maybe. If someone can find that out, that'd be cool. So this is the uh, artwork that you may have seen on the uh, cover of the uh, subscription version of the White Dwarf magazine. Uh, so you've got this one here, and then you've got that. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, so you've just got that one there. So this is the contents. Um, let's zoom zoom in a little bit shall we um you've got 128 pages you've got all the war scrolls and so on they're going to go they're going up against the uh, lumineth realm lords there got the midnight aristocracy you've got the cover art you've got the inside cover art in color beautiful the Undying King, there's Nagash. Battle for Souls. Page furniture is going to be lovely in this one. Got the Realm of Death. The Underworlds of Shaiish. The Prime Innerlands, nice map there. Got the Lords of Night. So you've got Nagash, the Great Necromancer, the Legion of Night, the Vikos Dynasty, the Castellai, Castel the Castellai Dynasty, the Legion of Blood, and the Avangori Dynasty. Hierarchy of Demise. Legion of Night. Legion of Blood. The Verkos Dynasty. Oh, that's pretty cool. The Cursed City. Castellai Dynasty and Avengori Dynasty. Chronicles of Endless Night. So you've got like a little timeline thing going on which you normally have. Nagash, Supreme Lord of the Undead. And there's your page keeper, bookmark. Manfred von Karstein, 
or Karstein, Neferata, Lauka Vai, Mother of Nightmares, Model of Nightmares, <laughs> Champions of the Grave. So you've got Vampire Lords, you have got uh, Prince, Vordry, Blood Knights, Vargeists, an Undying Majesty, you've got Coven Thrones, Bloodseeker Palanquins, Fell Bats, Soul Black Curse, The Blood of the Wolf, so you've got Radicar, The Court of the Wolf, Bella Dama Volga, Lady Annika the Thirsting Blade, Kritza the Rat Prince, The Death Rattle Legion, so you've got White Kings, Graveguard, Black Knights, Death Rattle Skeletons. Macabre Hordes, so you've got the Deadwalker Zombies, the Direwolves, Necromancers, Corpse Carts, Mortis Engines. Be good if we got a, a new Corpse Cart model, wouldn't it? But... Beasts of the Grave, Terror Geists, Zombie Dragons, the Thrill of the Hunt. I only just wished Forge World got, in, got on board with a lot of these um, Age of Sigmar uh, releases. You know, Lumineth, they could have made something incredible. For for these, they could have made, made like an, an amazing vampire battle, zombie dragon thing, couldn't they? We haven't had much love from Forge World for Age of Sigma for, for quite some time. And when they do give give us love, it's 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 it is fantastic. You know, the colossal squig, the rogue idol, um the hag, the Trogoth hag. Nice little picture there. Some of the new units. Colours of the Grave. Fantastic lucky model, Manfred. And Queen Neferata. There's some of the new new minis, new characters. You've got a vampire lord as well. There's the Blood Knights. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And the Death Rattle Skeletons. And the White King. And a Black Knight. And Fell Bats. And Doom Wolves and Dire Wolves. That looks quite cool. You've got the Deadwalker Zombies. And then you've got a little warband. Um, looking forward for these rules because um, you can't really get them anywhere at the moment because they were they were pretty new when they first came out. So um, this would all be new when we when we have a look at the warband rules. March of the Living Dead. Wow. They've got all kinds of things. They've got Manfred there. They've got corpse carts. They've got uh, Vargeists. Death rattle. Um, Skeletons and the zombies. I think that would be a start collecting set in there as well. They've even got a necromancer. Painting your soul blight grave lords, something that uh, is missing from uh, the 40k uh, codexes at the moment. Painting them. Goes through the dire wolves. I'm not sure I'll, I'll paint my dire wolves um, with the black though. The fur. Zombie pale fresh. Flesh even. The Blood Knight's armour. They have Chaos Black and then they paint uh, Mephiston red. Also Galvorback red as well. Basing tips. Then uh, the Soul Blight Gravelord's Allegiance abilities. Legion of Blood battle traits, command traits, artifacts. Artifacts of Power, Legion of Night, Battle Traits, Command Traits and Artifacts, Vercos uh, Dynasty, Battle Traits, Command Traits and Artifacts, and their uh, Castellai Dynasty, Battle Traits, Command Traits, Artifacts of Power, and the Avangori Dynasty, um, uh, Traits and Artifacts, and actually Cursed Mutations. Yeah. Spell Laws, Law of the Vampires, and Law of the Death Mages. Battle Plan, The Bell Tolls for Thee. Path to Glory. 
creating a warband. Soul Black Gravelord's warband tables, champion rewards table, hero retinue and elite retinue followers rewards table, and behemoth retinue followers rewards table. War Scrolls, so you've got a War Scroll Battalion Legion of Shaiish. You've got a Red Banqueters, Fellwing Flock, Death Stench Drove, and Death March. Nagash, so you've got Nagash's rule. Now I don't know whether Nagash's rules here are any different to the ones online or, or the ones that we've had before but uh, his rules are in here, um, and that basically means that I need to pick him up at some point <laughs> to go through him. He's a lovely model anyway, and uh, I would love to pick him up. We've got Manfred von Karstein. We've got Neferata. Prince Vaudrey, Vaudrey. Prince Duval. You've got the Crimson Court as well. You've got Lauka Vai and a Vingorian Lord. Belladama Volga. You've got Lady Annika and Kritza. They're from the uh, Verkos uh, dynasty. I guess I'm going to have to be collecting them. Radikar the Wolf. And then Radikar the Beast. You've got the Gorslav the Grave Keeper. Torgilius the Chamberlain, Vercross Bloodborne, and Watch Captain Halgrim. So you do have all of the characters that are available now separately um, from Games Workshop and featured in Curse City. You've got the Varska, you've got the Vargska, and the Kasagi Night Guard. You've also got the Vampire Lord on a Zombie Dragon, the old model though, unfortunately. Blood Knights, brand new, brand new rules. The Vargeists. Vampire Lord, brand new. Big, big uh, missing piece there though, but there's some artwork to cover it. Um, I guess they could have put two War Scrolls there, but. You've got the Bloodseeker Palanquin. I think that's an old model. You've got the Mortis Engine. You've got a Coven Throne. Necromancer, it's an old model. Deadwalker Zombies. Corpse Cart with Unholy Lodestone and a Corpse Cart with a Balefire Brazier. You've got the Zombie Dragon and a Terror Geist. You've got the White King. You've got the White King on the Skeletal Steed, so that's the new one. You've got Black Knights, Grave Guard, Death Rattle Skeletons, the Sepulchral, the Sepulchral Guard, Dire Wolves and Felbats, and the Pitch Battle Profiles. So there you go. Most expensive, well, you could say like, um, you know, Radikar the Wolf with his retinue, 755 points, um, but uh, the Terror Geist, the 305. Nagash is almost a thousand points. He's 975 points, so he is the most expensive there. Um, but the prince is uh, the the vampire lord on zombie dragon is 435, but the prince Vordry is 455 points. Uh, Manfred is almost 400. So yeah, um, some expensive units there. I'm surprised by the number of War Scrolls there. Uh, that's, that's a huge number, isn't it? Um, you've got from page 98 to page 100 and, yeah, we're straight up to 128. So you've got 30 pages there of, of War Scrolls. That's, that's incredible, absolutely incredible. Um, there you go, that's my unboxing and first look at the Soul Black Gravelords um, Special Edition Battle Tome. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of this book? And um, please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Nagash protects.